grace be with you and peace from God the Father and the Lord Jesus Christ in the unity of the Holy Spirit. Amen. This Sunday is about the Good Shepherd. The Good Shepherd that gives his life for his disciples, for the ones who belong to him, for the herd, for the sheep, for he's the leader who leads by serving them uh, to the utmo in the utmost sense by giving his life, his own life. Good leadership, that means um, there is an offering. You're not leading for yourself. You're leading for the whole thing. You're leading for the community. You're leading for the best of all, not for yourself. Leading, that is serving. Leading, that is also yeah, offering, a suffering. Um, there is sacrifice in leadership. And that's um, a, a true thing we've learned this week, especially when... Uh, we take part, we participate in all of Victoria grieving for these uh, four police officers who've died while they were serving for our, the safety of us all on that Eastern Highway. And uh, we've, we've learned this in a painful way that... Um, that uh, leadership or taking care for the community, protecting and serving through protection, that also means that uh, we put these people at risk. They are working at a dangerous place and yeah, we have to honor this. I think for all of the leaders um, who uh, work responsibly for a community, for a greater community, maybe in a state or in a, in a country, um, that have to, yeah, that have to work hard in serving the people by their, or through their leadership. Um, I think every leader in these times feels a big pressure, every political leader. They have to wait. There is health and there is economy. They have to decide whether safety concerns are more important or freedom concerns are more important. They have to discuss with many parties and with many different stakeholders and interests, vulnerable people, those with a disease or the, the elderly or the unemployed people, the people who depend on the economy working. I think we should um, honor and pray for those people who work themselves through these difficult um, yeah, discussions. There are a lot of people, especially on the internet, that are not really responsible for a community. Some call themselves experts. And um, and sometimes they talk um, like we would talk if we were just in, in private. They have a loose mouth. They act like false prophets. They engage themselves about, for example, the golf question. Whether you would be allowed to play golf outside. And I wouldn't discuss this here, but it's a less important question than the question about economy or health. And um, 
And we, we the, we the people, to be led, we need something that's called the herd immunity against a virus of a loose speech, of um, a um, irresponsible talk. We need an, a herd immunity not following these false prophets. We need a herd immunity by a free critical mind and a, a heart for responsibility, a heart for um, the sacrifice that's in, in leadership in being responsible for the others, in stepping in for those who can't um, speak for themselves. Let's, um, let's get a grasp on this, especially when we feel the pressure ourselves, um, when we want to go out, when we want to meet friends, when we want to get into business again, but we can't under these uh, conditions. You can imagine that I, the shepherd of this church, would love to have a normal service with you in here. But I see that under these circumstances it's difficult to have it. So we have this opportunity to come um, together and listen to the message of the Good Shepherd that, who calls us into a responsibility, into the sacrifice, into the moment of inner insecurity um, and trust in God that He will lead this um, in, a, in a good way and in a good sense um, towards the best of us all. Amen. And the peace from God, which surpasses all of our understanding, keep our hearts and minds in Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen.